ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Golden Ticket Fight Promotion number 11. We have 20 fights on the card tonight, five amateur title fights, seven pro fights and 13 amateurs. Callie Steve C.A. sitting alongside Jamie Hay as we get ready for fight number one, fighting out of the blue corner. Kian Boyden representing Arte Swald and he's taking on Claire Curdy representing Wolves MMA. Both these amateurs making their debut, Jamie. Yeah, both coming at the uh, light welterweight as well. One of the newer divisions that we see in the UK. Quite a lot now, Steve. Well, it's, it, oh, a big head kick landed there straight away. Yeah, big left high kick there straight to the, the side of the face. We see some rock the man as well. But Curdy seems to have uh, got to grips with that now. Yeah, he certainly seems to have shaken it off. Looks a little composed again. Again, Jamie, when you take a big shot like that in your in your debut, it, it, it tells something. It does indeed. It was, a, it was a quick shot as well. There wasn't a great deal of power in it, but it was a good setup. And again, he's setting them leg kicks up constantly, is uh, Boyson. He also looks to go on the outside leg kick and then uh, possibly switch across to the head kick again because it did catch him off guard last time. Kerr did, did not see it coming. Oh, nice to the body there. Yeah, he's, there's actually a mark on the side of the face where he was caught with that foot um, on, uh, on Curdy's face there. You can see it. Pretty, pretty red. That's a good, a good work from Boyson though, trying to uh, just back up and let, let Curdy come forward, throwing them, them uh, heavier shots. Watch him switch the body again. I think that shot took a little bit of pace away from from, from Curdy to start. Yeah, I'd say so, yeah. I think if you look at the welt on the body as well, you know, they clearly, uh, he's got, uh, clearly oh. power kick on that left-hand side. Spinning hook kick there, just misses. Always nice to see. I mean, both. Both athletes look composed in there. Yeah, both, especially since it was the debut for both guys. Both have looked very, very uh, composed, calm, cool, moving forward. Curdy, of course, the hometown, hometown boy, the Wolves MMA fighter. Yeah, Boyson coming all the way over from uh, Denmark from last oh, round. Another head kick there. Oh, tries to follow it with the second, Jamie. Yeah, he tried to double it up. Uh, you know, what I'd have probably done there is when he got the first head kick in, he made sure maybe he got to the body and looked to that, to that big body shot because he's got a serious power in them left kicks. Oh, head kick drops him! He doesn't telegraph anything when he throws it. Yeah, he's good work now. He's been putting that ground. Yeah, the grounding. Referee looking close. Yeah, he's controlling that hip. He's looking maybe to go. That's good oh. work. Great work. Yeah, great work from Curdy there. Like he was going to go for a foot on his way out. Now looking to land from top. Yeah. Oh. I, I think. Uh, could be a triangle from there, but it's not long enough to the round. There's a big cut on the side of the head now of, uh, of Koya Kurdi. He looks a little bit on Queer Street here, to be he honest. He looks a little like bit on rubber legs. Yeah, he looks like he's been pretty badly rocked there. He was two big head kicks and a couple of hammer fists as well, Steve. Yeah, very heavy. People who might not know the Art Slav team, these are, this is a great team from, from Denmark. You know, Danny Kian's there, Damien Hatchman. Well, more and more, but these these guys are fighting on huge stages. Yeah, I mean, I've, I've been out there myself uh, and I've done a bit of training with the guys over uh, well, the old Rumble gym and a few of the guys, was the Art Swab guys now. So, yeah, I mean, he's a hell of a team. Uh, he's the creme de la creme of, of Denmark. Oh, yeah, and that's, that's where everyone travels to. A lot of guys from uh, Sweden and Malmo travel across over the bridge to, to include pa Panic okay. Yeah. So, yeah, it's clearly a, a very Seconds good Seconds are gym. cleared. Round two's getting just about ready to begin. We close the cage door. What does Curdy have to do different? Well, to be honest, he, he looked pretty good as soon as he got um, got on the top of, of Boyson. So it's going to be a big ask, but I'd, I, w I wouldn't keep this standing, especially or, or at least close the distance. Because at the minute, that distance is suiting um, Boyson's game. Yeah, it just seems that every time he lands, he marks up Curdy, the leg, the body, the head. Yeah, exchange a couple of leg kicks there. Pace a little bit more methodical from Poison in this round. Yeah, I think we're, I think in, in fairness, 
uh, Boyson could have finished it before, but I think he's actually looking to switch to a footlock. I'd like to see him back in the replay, but I think that's what he was trying to do. That's how he got kicked off and ended up on the bottom. Got another head kick there. That distance is just perfect for Boyson. Oh, and a big leg kick, chopping away at the lead left leg. Again, what amazes me, Jamie, is the composure both these young athletes show. First time in a cage, first time with a, a big crowd watching. Take that straight into the top. Yeah, you're absolutely right, Stephen. We're now looking into, into a half guard. He's trying to get his get full guard back. There we go. Good work to pull his man back into the full guard. Yeah, he actually looks a stronger than the two on the floor, um, does Curdy. Strength-wise. Looks to me like boys in there looking to uh, look wrap up that neck, that, so. yeah. See, that's oh. the kind of distance where Curdy wants to be. The, the close proximity fighting will, will suit him a lot better than uh, this distance. That's where they, they can set the kicks up, Boyson. Yeah, he wants it. Uh, he wants it in a phone box. This Curry, he, he doesn't does. want he, to give him some. Doesn't want to give him that distance. Even though he's the longer of the two guys, the the, the one that's found the distance early on was Boyson, and, he, and he's continued that find. Not a lot on that body kick there. Oh, oh it's over! I did no oh, head kicks. That. I mean, that's what we said. That distance in Steve was exactly what he had to close off, and he was allowing constantly Boyson to find that distance. He was he was backing off. He was letting that that, that let that head, big head kick come forward. You know, that was that was the third or fourth big head kick yeah. that he took. You know, and that's a big big knockout and a fantastic debut for Kyan Boyson. Phenomenal job, phenomenal job by the young man from Mike Swarth. Very very good. Clinical, big finish. And it's one thing that GTFP always delivers, Steve. It's big, big knockout. <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. Hopefully, Koyakuri's uh, he's okay. I'm very, very, very pleased Ian Boyce in there. It was exactly the same head kick as what he set up in, in the first, you know, 20 seconds. Yep. Uh, and the thing the thing for Curdy, you know, I know it's, it's easier said than done, but he needed to close that distance off. And allowing some with, 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 the, with the, uh, the kick range that Boyson had, you know, it, it was just a it was just a matter of time until that happened. I mean, that was that's a proper knockout. Oh yeah, he's he, he's not he's really knocked out here. He's still not he's still not come round yet. <laughs> Medical doctor straight in there though. Yeah, he's still not, you can see with his legs, he's, he's still not got his legs together at the minute. I think he's going to, you'll see when he stands up, he's going to struggle walking along here. Yeah, you can see, you can see in his eyes. Yeah, yeah he, he's, he's not, he's the not lights quite are on, there, yeah. but not home yet. No, but, but let's uh, not, not take away from Kyan Ky Boyson there. How good of a performance that was, Steve, on a debut as well. Phenomenal, as you pointed out. Found his range early and just kept landing. He didn't have an answer for that head kick. No, he didn't. There was no answer at all throughout that whole fight. You know, he landed four big head kicks. He landed a couple of body kicks, leg kicks. Yeah, the, the, the kicking range was absolutely superb for Boyson. Ladies and gentlemen,